it's over! Oh shit! Oh! He was gonna shoot some- Yo, this does not change anything! She's still a traitor! She's awful. The prison. More police are on their way, Adam. Huntsman too. Yeah, it's over, my dude. It's time to surrender. Too afraid to face me on your own. I'm here for Haven, not Whoa. you. Oh, see, you a bitch. Uh. She don't care about you. Oh yeah. Oh my God, you're such a balls kill. Tell me, does Blake make all of her classmates fight for yeah, her? Yeah, motherfucker, nah, fuck off. For someone who claims to have such great friends. There doesn't seem to be a lot of people here willing to fight Better for you. Better do her thing! Fuck! But honestly... I've got more important things to deal with. Ah! You ain't shit, my dude! She says your dick is small! <laughs> we need to protect the school and the people here. Okay. Besides... Now he can see what it feels like to run you're, away. You're gonna let him go? Thank you. You go. You gonna let him go? Need help sometimes. Be careful. No promises. Okay. You guys okay? <gasps> oh, you guys are useless too. I don't know how that big guy still stands. How is this old guy? How is he a problem? And they're still fighting Hazel? Ugh. You guys suck. And hey, look. Blake's back. Yay. N no. I just remember you being more of the quiet one. Not today. Uh, would Blake gonna be a difference? You guys haven't been doing anything. Whoa. Is this son? Oh wait, no. It's just her shooting him. And he's gonna run away like a bitch. You've gotta be kidding me. <sighs> I gave you every opportunity to walk away from Crow and Oz. Why are they just, so you just can believe me yank. when I say this wasn't Because of the Team Ruby things. You opened the vault. I'm sure they told you plenty. And you just sat and obeyed. Huh? No. I'm starting to ask questions like you said. Yeah. So tell me. What happened to the last Spring Maiden? Did she die in battle? Was it sickness? What? You're accusing your mom of killing her? What does it matter to you? I can already see the answer. It's all over your face. How could you? She was scared when we found her. Weak. No matter how much training I put her through, she so never she did learned. kill her. She wasn't cut out for this world. And with those powers, she would have been hunted her entire life. What I did wasn't personal. It was mercy. Ooh. Which is it, Mom? Are you merciful? Or are you survivor? Oh, stop with the hypocrisy. Did you let me walk into that trap because you knew I could handle it? Or because it meant you could get what you wanted? I don't know you. I only know the Raven Dad told me about. <sighs> she was troubled. And complicated, but she fought for what she believed in, whether it was her team or her tribe. She fought for what she believed did in. Did kill her too? That's exactly what she did. Even if you disagree with it, death if she believes in it, she did it. Again, and every time I've spat in that face and survived because I'm strong enough to do what others yes. won't. Oh, shut up! Yeah, I will fast forward this. Shut me. up, Yang. You turn your back on people. Oh. You run away when things get too hard. You put others in harm's way instead of yourself. You might be powerful, but that doesn't make you strong. Who do you think yeah. you are lecturing yeah. me? Standing there shaking like a scared yes. little girl. Cut off her other arm. I'm scared, but I'm still standing no, here. It doesn't mean shit! What does that even mean? I'm not like you. I won't run. Which is why you're going to give me the relic. What? And why would I? Because you're afraid of Salem! And if you thought having maiden powers put a target on your back, imagine what she'll do when she finds out you have a relic. She'll come after you with everything she has. Or she could come after okay. me. Okay. And I'll be standing there. 
and then die, you freaking moron. Yeah, like you're like, I'm not scared of Salem until she fucking kills someone. Ugh. You don't want to do this, Yang. Wow, she thinks she's hard, dude. She thinks she's hard. Look at that, you made your mom cry. It's fucked up. Yeah. Me too. She laugh. <gasps> Ooh, she laugh. All right, what kind of relic is this? Is this gonna go some route of like Yu-Gi-Oh and shit? All right, what is this? A freaking genie and a lamp? What the hell is that? How are you gonna? Be powerful with that, I don't get it. Just destroy it. How can you cry and just break it or something? Just smash it into tiny little pieces? I like how the schmuck is ru I'm about to say, is he gonna hide under his desk? What did he come here for? <gasps> Whoa! And where might you be going? That would be sky. Uh, yo, I would oh, be scared of. <laughs> freaking going in a room and there's a freaking flying eyeball. Leonardo. She altered the plan. <laughs> Huntsman showed up here. You're gonna blame oh, Cinder. Several students. One with the silver eyes. Yeah, come on, kill this guy. Come on. <laughs> come on, eyeball. <laughs> Make him learn. It'll be useful. Oh. Okay, we'll stab him to death. Please. That's embarrassing. You're getting killed by a freaking eyeball. You didn't even get killed by a freaking real enemy. She won't let us down. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Yang showed up with the relic. Yay. Now what? What are you gonna do? Like, hey, I got it! Hey, 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 hey! <sighs> Why is she crying? Why is Emerald. Oh, what? Well, because she thinks Cinder's dead now? to go. Emerald. What is her problem? <laughs> um. Huh? Oh. Did Salem just possess her? Okay, what the fuck just happened? Salem showed what? up? What was that? Why didn't she Evolution. take the relic? <gasps> Yay, we did it! Woo! Let's go home, let's get some we pancakes! Woo! He was the only one to escape tonight. Dude, dude, stop. Shush. Those in the white You're going to prison! A new family for Fauna's truly Ooh. working towards a better world. So not the White Fang. They'll need a new leader. But something else. Huh? What, what would they call it? <laughs> oh my god, stop being such a boss kill! I hate you, son. Why? What happened? I don't know exactly. When I got down there, Cinder was gone. And Vernal was dead. And Draven? Gone. For the meantime. Well, <laughs> we're all glad you're still here, Firecracker. Uh, are you okay? Okay. <sighs> what are you doing here? Oh my god. I... I was gonna ask you three the same thing. <sighs> That's a long story. 
<laughs> well, I'm not going anywhere. Why are you not going anywhere? That's all that matters. <laughs> that we're all here together. You still got unfinished business, Blake. Okay. You gotta lead the Faunus. So Team Ruby is reunited. Yay! And then in the background, Team, U <laughs> Team Uniper's like, uh, we still... We still got a dead partner. Uh, you okay? Stop with the freaking Aspen. I hope he's dead. I'm all right. Good. He's resting. Too much energy fighting. No. Well, hey, don't strain yourself. No. He had a message. Is this crow like? Maybe he really likes Aspen. Lamp to Atlas. <laughs> oh, this is a lantern? I thought it was a genie in a lamp. Lamp in a genie, whatever. So they gotta bring the lamp to Atlas. Okay then. Alright, we got after credits. We got um the the Ruby Datty, Gang Datty. Oh my god, is Raven here? It's just gonna be like, yo, you dipped this. It was your penis. Who's your semen? It's time to die. <laughs> Alright, um, not the most of, uh, fanciest of endings, I guess. Um, it's almost nice to actually have a happy ending for once, or not necessarily entirely all great happy endings. Not necessarily all happy, you know, because there's still some grim things happening. But, uh, after the kids lost massively in the last two seasons, it's kind of nice to have something positive for once, I guess. So pretty much, uh, you know, uh, Raven was going to get the relic, but then Yang showed up, and, and pretty much Yang just scolded her mom and stuffed a lot of shit, which I guess really uh, guilt-tripped Raven, and she's like, fuck it, I'm out of here. Raven is super scared of Salem, and I'm sure she should be, but we, as the viewer, don't know anything about Salem. We don't know her powers, what she's capable of, and it's okay for Raven to be scared of Salem, but at least show us why. Later in the episode, we got to see a little bit of Salem, but it wasn't something to be like, oh, what is that? You know, but whatever, you know? Mind you, at this point, at this point in the show, all the heroes, as far as Crow, Ruby, Weiss, Yang, Blake, whatever, name all the good guys, they weren't even capable of defeating the minions. They didn't, they didn't even defeat one! So, how are they gonna defeat the main bad guy? If Salem's the boss and she's like the mega big boss, like how, how are they gonna defeat her if they can't even defeat the minions? Yeah. So that's frustrating. Anyway, so the White Fang has been a demolished, or at least a terrorist version of the White Fangs. Uh, it looks like Blake's dad is like, you know, he took over it. And I'm not sure if they just insinuated that, like, maybe they should let the past die, like that white fang version die, and just rebirth into something else. And I hope they go in that direction, like, just make a brand new white fang group thing with a different name. You know, that would make more sense. Aspen, I guess, he, he used too much of his power, and uh, I guess the last thing that he, he you know, he, he told the freaking farmer boy... Um, that, hey, take the freaking relic that Yang just got, bring it to Atlas. Yeah. So it looks like Team Ruby's back. Now we got a mission to go to Atlas with the freaking relic and whatever, the freaking torch thing. The White Fang has been defeated. But we're still clueless as far as what is Raven going to be up to now. Uh, did Yang, like, get to her? Like, did Yang get to her heart and, and maybe, maybe even motivate Raven to, like, wait, you know, maybe I've been fucking up. Maybe I need to change myself. What's going to happen with Adam now? He doesn't have a group to fall back on. He's all alone. What about Hazel and Tyrion and Watts and freaking Emerald Mercury? Like, what about them now? How are we going to segue into the next arc, you know? Are they just going to be resting for a bit? Are we still going to keep looking for the next Maiden? Even Cinder herself, uh, is she officially defeated? You know, because it's like Raven froze her, and then she fell further into the depths of the abyss, wherever the hell they were. Is she alive or is she dead? Like, I don't freaking know. Ruby is a very ambiguous show where, like, they sh give you information, but they don't give it to you fully. 
It's like they leave you with, you know, hey, you saw that? You come up with your own freaking conclusion. But alright, overall, Volume 5, uh, not the best. Uh, I still think Volume 4 was way better. There's a lot of things that happened in this season that I just, ugh, I really hated. Um, it drags. I, I, I can't stand that. It's just the worst part about Ruby's is it drags. Just drags. <laughs> Now, here's hoping for the next season for Volume 6 is, can we get back to the other characters you guys introduced? Like, can you bring back Velvet? Uh, what the fuck is Winter doing? Like, can we get back? Can, can we, can you bring her back? What about Neptune and, and whatever? I don't care. Just bring back the other characters you either made or make new characters. Or at least make more interesting characters. Cause, seriously, Ilya? No, fuck Ilya. Like, it's, yeah. if she doesn't go to prison, I don't know. I'm freaking still salty over that. All right, guys, uh, that about wraps up my video. I would love to hear your opinions. What did you think of Volume 5? What did you think of the finale uh, today? Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? So make sure you discuss with me and others by leaving me any positive or negative feedback down in that comment section. Feel free to like this video or subscribe to my channel. And as always, God bless you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.